Yesterday was a historic day in America. I finally tried kombucha. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. But it was also a historic day because the House held its first public impeachment hearing where the ambassador to Ukraine and the inventor of Flubber both testified <laughs> about President Trump's quid pro quo with the president of Ukraine. And this testimony was a pretty big deal because for the first time, the American public heard from nonpartisan officials about how the president abused his powers for personal gain. And even though millions of people have been talking about these hearings, over on Fox News, their analysis of this impeachment is meh. There is no way <laughs> that <laughs> normal, ordinary people, I... middle America, are gonna watch a yeah. castle of lawyers going at it over the details of who said <laughs> what to who, some obscure no. official from a foreign country. This is about <laughs> a transcript of a phone call with a country no one cares about. You can't follow he said, she said, she said, he said, he said. I don't know what language quid pro quo is. It's Latin, is. And okay. Is it Latin? It, so it's when... Latin to everybody. Uh, people don't understand that. No one can find Ukraine on the map. <laughs> if you ask the American people anything about Ukraine, they don't know a thing about it. Wow. So what, according to Fox News, Americans are too dumb to follow these impeachment proceedings? The word impeachment is very confusing. Maybe we should call it a presidential boo-boo. Would that help? <laughs> you know what's, what's funny is how when it was Hillary's scandal, Fox News was like, now, as we all know, Benghazi isn't just home to Libya's signature dish, Bazin. It's also a hotbed of support for Ansel al-Sharia, -Shir uh, especially around Tahir Square. This is a big thing in Libya. But then, when it's a Donald Trump scandal, all of a sudden, they're like, what's a Ukraine? <laughs> Ukraine? Do Ukraine? Do I crane? Fraser crane? The bird crane? <laughs> because, look, even if people don't understand every aspect about the Ukraine scandal, that doesn't mean that they can't still grasp its importance. Like, I don't know what a second cousin once removed is. <laughs> what I do know is I'm not supposed to marry them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sheila, I know it would make grandma happy, but it just can't happen. <laughs> and Fox News is coming up with all kinds of ways to convince people that even if you do have a PhD in Ukrainiology, these hearings still just aren't worth watching. In fact, sometimes if you watch Fox, like, it looks like they're straight up trying to hypnotize their viewers into not caring. This is nothing to do with national security. It's all just an illusion. The whole thing is a charade. First, know this. This is important. Everything you're gonna see in the next two weeks is rigged. This is a phony show trial. There is zero due process, none. We don't want to overinflate its importance, which is questionable. This is stupid. A week from now, you won't remember the details. Look deep into my eyes. <laughs> A week from now, you will remember none of the details. <laughs> and when I snap my fingers, you'll wake up and think racism only happens to white people. <laughs> Three, two, one, snap. <laughs> like, what is that? You know, it's crazy that after the first day, the first day of the impeachment hearings, Fox has already written off the entire process, which clearly shows you they have no intention of being objective at all. Uh, they, they sound less like journalists and more like mean girls trying to sabotage someone's sweet 16. <laughs> She's like, I've heard nobody's going. It's gonna be like a stupid party and Ashley's dad is gonna be the DJ. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't know. I don't know if Donald Trump is gonna be found guilty or not, but you've got to at least watch the full proceedings before you make a determination. Otherwise, you don't have the full story, you know? Like, if you only watched the first half of Get Out, you just think it was a beautiful movie about an interracial <laughs> couple. Yeah, it'd be like, her family's kinda weird, but every family's kinda weird. <laughs> but if calling their viewers dumb or using mind control doesn't work, Fox has come up with another reason to ignore the impeachment hearings, and that is it's just not binge-worthy TV. There is not a single person outside the Washington, D.C. beltway that gives a damn about what happened today. It's boring. It was a total snooze fest. It was kind of boring to watch on television. It was really just a huge dud. There wasn't anything sexy about it. There was not some big new piece of information that came out. With uh, Richard Nixon, there was a break-in. With um, uh, Bill Clinton, there was sex in yeah. the Oval Office. Yeah. 
With Trump, it's a phone call to Ukraine. There's no burglary, there's no break-in, there's no tapes, there's no dress, there's no sex. It's not a sexy scandal. Russia was sexy. This has no intrigue whatsoever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're saying Trump's impeachment is boring and unsexy? You know, if Trump hears that, it's gonna piss him off, right? <laughs> He's gonna come out like, my impeachment will be the most exciting ever. I'll break into a hotel, and best believe, I'll jizz all over this dress. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. I'll do it. Just make sure you wash it afterwards. I can't risk making another Eric. Don't wanna take a chance. Here's the thing, people. These hearings are investigating whether the president of the United States committed high crimes or misdemeanors. So they're supposed to be serious, not about excitement. You know, impeachment is like a family reunion. If it's sexy, something has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Sheila, please, don't make things weird at the barbecue. <laughs> I'm begging you, please. <laughs> now, look, here at The Daily Show, we wanna help Fox viewers get into the impeachment spirit because this is a really important time in America. So if they can't pay attention to the scandal unless it's sexy, well, then you know what? We'll make it sexy. Did somebody order some military aid? I was getting so desperate for your missile. I'm gonna need some dirt on Joe Biden first. in my quote. Well, I'll put the quid in your quote. I'm gonna blow that whistle. Ooh, yeah, give me that dirt on Joe Biden. Yeah, dirt on Joe Biden. I'm gonna quit! Oh, yeah.